Jessica Schimpf is the owner of Mantra Glass Art in Reno and has been blowing glass since 2010 when she graduated from the Maryland Institute College of Art. However, she did start her career through the forging and welding of metal. So the first experience that I had with metal was in high school um, and I had a teacher, Mr. Cabot, who introduced me to uh, the processes of forging and welding, that kind of stuff. Um, and from there I started winning awards uh, for my projects in high school. Um, after that, I was introduced to pouring bronze in a foundry at the Maryland Institute College of Art. Um, and that process was really amazing, but it was a very sexist environment. So at one point, um, I had a friend that wanted uh, photography done in his glass blowing studio. So I came over, um, opened up that door, and then realized that was kind of my calling in life. And that was the most, um, I was the most passionate about that type of art form. So it just seemed kind of natural. All right, and that's nice and warm, and now I can actually get a gather of glass. And we do this very carefully by dunking into the pot of glass, and then I bring it out very carefully. And that is our liquid glass. Nice and clear, no bubbles. That's kind of what I've been working on the past week is to make sure it's perfectly clear. And I'm just kind of touching it with our little pad here that's been wet. We often use um, all of the elements in glass blowing, not just fire. Um, we also use water. So things with water can actually repel the glass a little bit, shape it and cool it. Yeah, so the biggest difficulties that I found, um, I was working at what was called the Johnson Atelier, and that was in New Jersey, and that was my big professional art job with uh, metals. And I was building sculptures that were at least um, three stories tall, two stories tall, really massive sculptures, stuff that like you would do at Burning Man, that kind of stuff. And I noticed that I was the only girl on the team for welding. That was the, kind of the first thing. Um, the second thing I started to notice was that the females in that environment were very uncomfortable in the painting departments, in the office even, and they just had these really strange relationships with the guys working there, like they wouldn't talk to them very often. They would tell me, you know, kind of be careful around them. So that made me very weary. And then I started getting comments from these guys as I was welding, working, um, just very in inappropriate things and, and um, started making me feel very uncomfortable. And that was the hardest part because I didn't want to admit that that was a sexist job. I, I thought maybe I had done something um, that was really difficult for me to kind of get through. And I was heartbroken and, and leaving that career was honestly a really big challenge because I had spent so much time in it. Um, but it didn't feel right anymore and I started to gain respect in glass blowing through my processes and teaching and all that stuff and I found that um, people are very supportive of me being a woman. They're very impressed. They ask if I'm the owner. They ask if there's a co-owner, that type of thing. They don't really believe that you know a girl could do something like that. So I think that women are really changing the profession of glass blowing. I think that there's more and more women, women coming up more and more women um, own businesses, so we're starting to see that respect a little bit more. What I love the most is the freedom, the flexibility, and being my own boss. And I think as a woman, um, I would not be able to have this type of career anywhere else. So in other industries, I wouldn't be making as much money, I wouldn't be as successful, I wouldn't be as happy, um, honestly, because of the freedom and, and the empowerment that I get from it. Um, so every day when I come in, I can start on my own terms, I could create whatever I want, I take the commissions that I want or not want. Um, and from there, I get to kind of be my own person, which is really unique and interesting as a woman. Um, I feel like being the boss of this is something I've always kind of sought after, so. As it is important to Jessica that we put out into the world what we hope to receive back, Mantra Glass Art is committed to donating 15% of their revenue or inventory back to our community. Mantra Glass Art also offers glass blowing classes by appointment. You can sign up using this link, which will also be located in the description below.